According to data from Demand Sage, there are now more than 1.56 billion iPhone users across the globe and nearly 155 million in the United States by the year 2025. That is an absolutely astonishing figure that proves Apple still reigns supreme as the king of smartphones, with seemingly no challenger strong enough to truly threaten their dominance. Yet perhaps we are all underestimating a new player, because there is one potential rival on the horizon, one of the most talked about technology companies on earth. And surprisingly, it is not Samsung, not Google, and not Microsoft. It is Tesla. In the world of technology, many people still think of Tesla as simply an electric car manufacturer, while Apple is the undisputed leader in smartphones. But Elon Musk has never allowed Tesla to be defined so narrowly. He continues to expand the company far beyond electric vehicles, consistently launching products that prove Tesla is at its core a high-tech company, not just an automaker. While Apple once set its sights on building a self-driving car to take on Tesla in the automobile industry, Elon Musk has long been quietly developing a project in an entirely different space, the Tesla Pi phone. This is a futuristic smartphone packed with features and design choices unlike anything we have ever seen before. It is not just another phone, it is something truly different. The Tesla Pi phone is reportedly scheduled for release next year, and Elon Musk is confident it will directly compete with Apple's iPhone 17, which is expected to arrive at the end of this year. Who will emerge victorious remains to be seen, but leaks surrounding the Tesla Pi phone's design and features have already shaken the industry. What shocked many most of all is the inclusion of Starlink technology, giving users free access to global internet for the very first time. This alone could completely transform the entire smartphone market. So what exactly does the Tesla Pi phone promise? And what is Elon Musk's deeper ambition with this bold project? That is exactly what we will uncover right now. But before we move forward, let me take a moment to welcome you to Amp Drive. This is the channel where we explore everything Tesla, Elon Musk, and the future of technology. If you enjoy what you are hearing, make sure you hit that subscribe button right now and join the Amp Drive community. It helps us grow and ensures you never miss our latest updates. Now let us return to the big question, can the Tesla Pi phone actually challenge Apple's mighty iPhone? There is no denying that the iPhone completely changed the way the world communicates, entertains, and works. Since 2007, Every new generation of iPhone, iPad, and MacBook has been tied to massive turning points in the history of mobile technology. But after almost two decades, the once fearless symbol of innovation is now increasingly accused of being overly conservative and failing to bring real breakthroughs. The iPhone 16, launched in September of 2024, is perhaps the clearest evidence of this. Although Apple rolled out another massive marketing campaign, the general feeling among the community was one of disappointment. Elon Musk even mocked the new release on X, saying, it is hard to notice the difference without looking very closely. To him, the iPhone 16 amounted to little more than two extra buttons and a new shade of color, hardly justifying the tens of billions of dollars Apple spends on research and development every year. He jokingly added, for only $50 billion in research and development, what a bargain. This highlights a frustrating paradox for Apple. The newer the iPhone, the harder it becomes to tell it apart from its predecessor. Consumers spend thousands of dollars to upgrade, yet most people around them will not even notice, because the device looks almost identical to last year's version. Still, this disappointment has only heightened curiosity about the iPhone 17. Will Apple manage to reclaim its former glory, or will it simply release another phone with the same design, minor changes, and a higher price tag. Early reports suggest that the iPhone 17 might actually go down as one of the weakest releases in Apple's history. To achieve an ultra-thin design of just 5.5 mm or 0.22 inches, Apple is believed to have dramatically reduced the size of the battery. The iPhone 17 Air may come with a battery capacity of only about 2,800 to 2,900 milliampere hours, which is a serious downgrade compared to the 3,582 mAh inside the iPhone 16 Pro, or the 3,900 mAh offered by the Galaxy S25 Edge. 
critics are already calling this a step backwards, disguised inside a beautiful design. And that is not the only problem. The iPhone 17's performance and memory are expected to see little or no real improvement compared with the iPhone 16. Yet the device will come at a higher price, making it clear that Apple has chosen thinness and flashy looks over real performance and endurance. Yes, the iPhone 17 may become the thinnest device Apple has ever produced, and that sleekness will attract some buyers. But Tesla's approach with the Pi phone is entirely different. Instead of chasing after thinness, Elon Musk has focused on toughness, practicality, and usefulness, values that Tesla products are already known for. Inside sources suggest that the Tesla Pi phone will not be made like ordinary smartphones. Its body will be crafted from a titanium alloy, the same material used in SpaceX spacecraft. Titanium is much stronger than aluminum, yet it is still lighter than steel. While Apple only started using grade 5 titanium in the iPhone 15, Elon Musk reportedly demanded grade 6 titanium for the Pi phone. In fact, he reassigned several SpaceX engineers to Tesla specifically to work on the titanium design and manufacturing process. According to internal testing, while an iPhone can shatter easily when dropped from 6.5 feet, the Tesla Pi phone can survive a fall from 13 feet onto hard concrete with only minor scratches. Of course, there is something appealing about the iPhone 17's ultra-thin 0.22-inch design. It will feel light in the hand and less tiring to hold during long use. But this slimness offers no advantage when it comes to long-term reliability. In fact, a device that thin will quickly reveal its weaknesses. A thinner body makes it far easier to damage, more likely to suffer from overheating, and more prone to screen issues after even minor bumps. Repairs on iPhones are notoriously expensive. For older users or those on tighter budgets, what matters far more than design is stability and longevity. That is where Tesla's Pi phone shines, it is built to last. Now here is a question for you. What do you value more, a sleek design or a rugged, long-lasting build? Leave your answer down in the comments, we would love to hear what you think. As for size, the Tesla Pi phone is said to measure 5.72 inches in height, 2.75 inches in width, and 0.29 inches in thickness. To reduce slipping, Tesla has included an exclusive feature called the Smart Grip Sensor, built directly into the frame. If the phone senses that it is being held loosely or about to be dropped, it vibrates to warn the user. For elderly people with shaky hands, this could prove incredibly useful. Leaked reports also suggest the Tesla Pi phone will boast a 6.9-inch AMOLED display shielded by nano glass, which is about 25% stronger than Apple's ceramic shield. It is uncertain whether the screen will reach full 4K resolution, but AMOLED guarantees sharpness, vibrant colors, and deep contrast, ideal for watching movies, gaming, or browsing. The display is rumored to support HDR10, Dolby Vision, and true tone color adjustments that automatically adapt to the environment for a more natural viewing experience. The Pi phone will also come equipped with both an underscreen fingerprint sensor and advanced three-dimensional facial recognition, similar to Apple devices. But one of its most impressive qualities is water resistance. The Tesla Pi phone has been confirmed to carry IP68 protection. That means it can survive being submerged in about 5 feet of water for 30 minutes. And thanks to its titanium build, it may even endure more extreme conditions than an iPhone. Tesla has also placed major effort into its camera system. According to trusted sources, three versions of the Pi phone are in the works. The base model will feature three cameras, the Plus Edition will offer four, and the Premium version may even have five lenses. This will help differentiate the Tesla device from Apple's line. The main sensor is rumored to be 50 megapixels, slightly better than the 48 megapixel camera of the iPhone 16 Pro Max paired with 3 times optical zoom and a strong flash, it should capture crystal clear images in almost any environment. A subtle glowing Tesla logo on the back will not only serve as an iconic brand marker, but also act as an auxiliary sensor to support the camera system. Tesla has cleverly turned design into functionality. Where Apple has often been criticized for poor battery life, 
Tesla is determined to fix this weakness. The Pi phone is expected to pack a massive 6,125 mAh battery. That is far greater than the 4,676 mAh in the iPhone 16 Pro Max, and almost double the tiny 2,800 mAh expected for the iPhone 17 Air. Even more importantly, Tesla will not be using ordinary lithium-ion cells. Instead, they are developing aluminum-ion battery technology in-house specifically for this device. These batteries promise double the energy density, reduced heat, greater safety, and almost zero risk of fire or explosion. As a result, the Tesla Pi phone could last three to four days on one charge, compared to the iPhone's usual one to two days. Charging will also be fast and efficient. The Pi phone is said to support a smart quick charging mode that can take the battery from 10% to 80% in about 35 minutes. While not the fastest in the industry, Elon Musk has explained that Tesla will not join the extreme fast charging race seen in some Android devices, since ultra-rapid charging usually harms long-term battery health. Tesla's approach is clear, they are focused on longevity, not just speed. Even so, Tesla has planned for emergencies. Multiple leaks suggest the Pi phone may include an ultra-thin solar panel on its back. While it will not fully replace regular charging, it can provide a few extra percentage points of power in situations such as traveling, hiking, or staying in remote areas. Given Tesla's deep experience with solar energy through projects like the solar roof and power wall, this could be a practical lifesaver. The Pi phone is not just smart, it is also designed to be energy self-sufficient, in line with Elon Musk's mission of global sustainability. But what truly separates the Tesla Pi phone is not only its hardware. It is the software. Instead of relying on iOS or Android, the Pi phone will run on XOS, Tesla's proprietary operating system developed quietly for years. Built on a Linux foundation but rewritten almost completely, XOS gives Tesla total control over design, user experience, and security. Unlike iOS and Android, which often rely heavily on user data for advertising, XOS is built with the opposite philosophy, maximum privacy and deep personalization. It will adapt to user habits while avoiding the exploitation of personal data. The most powerful advantage of XOS is how it ties directly into Tesla's broader ecosystem. A Pi phone will be able to unlock your Tesla vehicle, cool the cabin, or even summon the car to your location. It could control the Optimus humanoid robot or monitor your power wall energy storage. In short, it is the central hub for the entire Tesla universe, something Apple or Google cannot match. Another highlight is Tesla's integration of Grok AI, built directly into XOS. Unlike Apple's Siri or third-party assistants, Grok can process requests faster, sometimes even offline. It is not just a voice assistant, but an intelligent bridge that connects users to Tesla's world, from electric cars to energy systems to robotics. And then there is Starlink. The Pi phone could connect directly to the Starlink satellite network, offering free or extremely low-cost global internet. With over 6,000 satellites already orbiting Earth and a plan to expand to 40,000, Starlink creates a network that works anywhere, deserts, oceans, or the polar regions. A Pi phone with Starlink support would make dead zones a thing of the past. For travelers or people living in remote areas, it could be a true survival tool. Skeptics naturally ask, how can Musk possibly offer free internet when satellites cost billions to launch? But the answer lies in Tesla's strategy. Once satellites are deployed, operating costs are relatively low. Musk could subsidize Starlink access through profits from Tesla cars, energy projects, and AI ventures. He might even offer a two-tier plan, with a free basic package and a premium paid version for higher speeds. And the price? Reports suggest the Tesla Pi phone may start at just $799. For a device rumored to outperform the iPhone Pro Max, this is an incredible surprise. But it makes sense if you look at Musk's strategy with the Model 3. He sacrificed short-term profits to make the car accessible and then monetized the surrounding ecosystem. The same logic applies here. 
Tesla is not trying to earn huge profits from the phone itself. Instead, the Pi phone is the ticket into the much larger Tesla world, Starlink, Grok AI, Powerwall, and Optimus. In the end, Tesla is not building this phone simply to compete with the iPhone. They are here to change the rules of the entire industry. So what do you think? Can Tesla's Pi phone stand against Apple and Samsung? And if you could add one dream feature to the Pi phone, what would it be? Share your thoughts in the comments, we cannot wait to read them. That wraps up today's discussion about the Tesla Pi phone. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, subscribe to Amp Drive, and ring the bell for more exciting updates about Tesla and the future of technology. Share this with your friends to spread the buzz, and we will catch you in the next one. Thank you for watching Amp Drive.